Hey, welcome uh, to the guide. I'm Yo. And I'm Will. And uh, this is your weekly update. You actually have a lot to cover. There's just games galore coming out all over the place. Tis the season. Yeah, yeah. until we get to the fall, which is really the season. But it's <laughs> nice that, you know, uh, gaming companies finally realized I want to play video games other than just October, November, December. So I'm glad they're putting them out at <laughs> other times of the year. Yeah, it's a little convenient, <laughs> you know. Yeah. They don't have to wait for Christmas to get something. Uh, first, let's start off with Max Payne 3. Uh, you just re finished up your review of that. Uh, really quick, give us right. your quick assessment of Max Payne 3. My quick assessment, it looks great. It's very theatrical, more so mm -hmm. than the prior games, I believe. Mm -hmm. And uh, eh, overall, it works. <laughs> you know, I wasn't blown away right. by Max Payne because it, it did get repetitive. It yeah. was basically the same level over and over again with a different video clip before it you know <laughs> really that's interesting yeah but the multiplayer was fun and of course the bullet time is always uh, a always unique cool. feature yeah mm. always a good time well you can check out that yeah. full review at gameandmovieguide.com also another shooter that came out just recently ghost recon future soldier ryan you were working on that one i was working yeah. on that one and it is a different kind of shooter if you're used to call of duty and you're used to battlefield this is slower and more methodical right. but no less intense and and fun you know it's still just as exciting it's just a different kind of exciting so maybe more appealing to the splinter cell crowd yeah of... and actually borrow some from uh, splinter cell conviction with a with a um, mark and execute remember that uh, from yeah. splinter cell conviction you can tag guys in this game then all of your squad can take do a simultaneous takedown which is always satisfying to see that happening we just took down four bad guys all at once and they never even knew what hit them it's awesome <laughs> right and then the multiplayer uh, offers up some unique spins on familiar modes uh, actually the multiplayer feels a little bit more like call of duty because you constantly oh, yeah. have to be on the move because there's all kinds of gadgets and stuff that can detect you, and, right. and so to win the game, you got to be constantly on the move, constantly aware of what's. So it's much faster paced, more of what Call of Duty crowd might be interested in. Again, check out the full review of Ghost Recon at uh, GameMovieGuide.com. And then uh, the Nintendo 3DS got a new game. Yay! <laughs> Hooray! Uh, it's hard to get excited for the 3DS anymore. <laughs> Mario Tennis Open just uh, came out for it, and um, it's pretty much what you'd expect from a Mario sports title. It, it confuses me that Nintendo wastes time on releasing a new game for 3DS that's tennis. This should be something that you're playing on the Wii, or not a tiny little boop. Yeah, um... No, it's Mario Tennis. That's really all I could say about it. it. There's nothing that really stood out and grabbed my attention about it. So uh, that's our assessment of that. Uh, then Men in Black 3 coming out for mm -hmm. Memorial Day weekend. Uh, it's been a while since we've had a sequel to Men in Black 2, a which lot was of... kind of a disappointment. Yeah, there's. A, I think there's a lot of hype surrounding this third release. Well, you it's, know, they're it's hoping... out to redeem itself. Yeah, and we'll see if it actually does that. You can read our review of Men in Black 3 again, GameMovieGuide.com. But we were asking people, you know, it's Memorial Day weekend, right? Three day weekend. Typically, a lot of people will go out and see a movie. Uh, what movie are you going to go check out? Avengers, of course, still in theaters. Mm -hmm. uh, Battleship is out. They're hoping that'll get the patriotic push uh, over Memorial Day weekend. People feel patriotic and want to go see that. I don't know that there's really a whole lot of patriotic <laughs> things going on in this besides them using Navy boats. and. There's World War II vets in it. It's kind of cool. They pay tribute to the vets. And okay, we yeah. salute you. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and then, of course, Men in Black 3 releasing this weekend. And we'll see if the Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones chemistry holds up. I've heard... Uh, Josh Brolin is amazing with his Tommy oh, Lee Jones. Oh, as the young Tommy Lee Jones? Yeah, that his impression is worth the price of admission. And mm -hmm. we'll let you know if that's true in our review. And then one other thing to touch on, which I thought was rather interesting. Should the Xbox 360 be, be banned in the United States? Did you read about this? I did not, no. Yeah, so there's this lawsuit going on with Xbox, Microsoft, and Motorola. So over in Germany, the Xbox is banned from being sold because of this patent infringement, wow. whatever is going on. Now the question is, should that continue here in the United States? One of the things, this is I thought was very interesting, one of the things Microsoft said in this uh, court case was that it would not be fair to consumers to ban the Xbox 360 from sale because then consumers would only be left with the Wii and the P, the PlayStation 3. Nobody wants that, yeah. <laughs> and uh, the judge said, actually, consumers will be just fine if they have the PlayStation 3 and the Wii, and that's their only choices to buy. Those two companies can pick up the slack if there's no more Xbox 360 consoles. 
this whole thing has not been resolved yet. Um, Microsoft is sure that the case will be ru uh, ruled in their favor um, and nothing's gonna be decided until the end of August. So don't worry, Xbox 360s aren't going anywhere on store shelves until maybe the end of August. Maybe if they do ban it, then Xbox will come back with the super, super sweet 720 or something that well yeah they might have to bump up the timetable for that because uh, <laughs> yeah. if this one gets banned they're like well better roll that sucker out have it ready for e3 next week <laughs> yeah exactly so we'll keep you up to date on that let you know if xbox 360 will be banned in the united states which would be really bizarre that was so random it's, i know it's it's so could strange. i get in trouble for playing my xbox 360 <laughs> only if it's modded <laughs> is it not that one. <laughs> so if you want to read all the reviews that we've already discussed, uh, keep up on news such as the banning of the Xbox 360 and everything else going on, and yeah. whether or not Will's Xbox is modded, uh, you can check that out on Facebook. Facebook.com forward slash MyStaticRadio, <laughs> or visit us on GameAndMovieGuide.com, get plugged in with Google, and Google Plus and Twitter. Or you can also visit facebook.com slash game and movie guide. Don't mod your Xbox because they don't work very long after you do it. <laughs>